Namaste. I am Koti. I am a volunteer at the Hindu Temple of Greater Cincinnati. And today I am with about.com to tell you about the Hindu basic principles. There are 15 basic Hindu principles, very easy for you to remember, A-E-I-O-U-Y of Hinduism. Ano badraha kratavo yantu vishwataha. May noble thoughts come to us from every side, the whole world. Ekam sadvipraha bahuda vadanti. Truth is one. People call it by different names. Isha vasyam idagam sarvam etkinchi jagatyan jagata tena tyaktena bunjita magrida kasya siddhanam. The whole world is permeated by Lord. This is an ever changing world. The only thing constant in this world is the Lord permeating everything the living, the non living, the moving, and the non moving. Om iti Brahma, Om iti idagam sarvam. Om is Lord. Om is supreme and Om is everything. It represents our birth, growth, going away, and the fourth part is the immortality. Uddared Atmanatmanam, Natmanam Avasadayet, Atma Eva Atmano Bandhu, Atma Eva Ripuratmanaha. You should elevate, advance yourself by your own effort. You should never put down yourself because, after all, you are your best friend and your worst enemy. Yopam ayatanam veda ayatanavan bhavati. If you know the blessings of Lord, you become blessed. If you know somebody is taking care of you, you become blessed. Now, Hinduism, H for harmony. Hinduism believes in harmony of all kinds of thoughts and religions. It has the power to assimilate every religious and philosophical truth on earth. I. I means incarnation. It's also popularly known as avatar. What it means is the Lord descends to earth. When the things go bad, Lord descends to the earth. The spirit enters into one of the human bodies or a different body and helps the world. N means non-violence. The Sanskrit word for that is ahimsa. Ahimsa means being not hurting anybody. Not hurting anybody by words, by deeds, or by thoughts. Now we go to D. D means dharma. Dharma means that which is most beneficial to everyone. And the idea in Hinduism is you should always protect dharma. It doesn't matter who is saying it. One who protects dharma gets protected by it. Dharma rakshati rakshitaha. Then you... H-I-N-D, U is unity of life, unity of existence. Hinduism believes that all forms in this universe are interrelated. It's the extension of the same one supreme Lord, supreme Brahman. Now I have another eye. This eye represents the inherent value. In Hinduism, you can worship God in any form or no form. When you bow to a deity in a form of a statue, it is not the statue what you are bowing to. You are bowing to what the statue represents. Uh, yes, H-I-N-D-U-I, yes. Yes is supreme soul. Supreme soul is the, called the supreme god or the Brahman. And that is one and that is called by different names. The Yam is the last letter in Hinduism, which means moksha. Moksha means liberation or salvation. In the Hindu concept, this can happen in one life or after multiple lives. There is nothing like eternal condemnation in Hinduism. That the life can go on, that is called the sansar, forever and ever and ever, until the soul is liberated. Friends, thanks for joining us today. If you need any more information, please feel free to go to about.com.